Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, June 24, 2013. We're looking at a couple charts today, starting off with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'd like to address a couple things I'm hearing from individual traders as well as mainstream media and so forth and so on. So, uh, the main thing is that they keep looking at this little bitty pullback, and a lot of people are saying, you know, this is a great buying opportunity. Uh, other people are looking for hammer reversal signals so they can play the balance of the upside, yada, yada. I wouldn't even touch that. That's a horrible idea in my opinion. And the reason I'll show you in a moment. But looking at this chart, looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, a couple things I want to point out. Yesterday, or not yesterday, Friday we talked about this candlestick formation. It's not a hammer candlestick formation. And this volume here was not what it would look like, not a bunch of buy volume that had to do with options expiration. And so this wasn't going to be a great entry opportunity on the long side or whatever. And there were people out there who actually went out and bought ahead of that anticipation a bounce. Um, the, the concept you're using there when you talk about volume levels or you talk about hammer candlestick formation like for today, for example, intraday we had a, a nice looking hammer candlestick formation. We had price activity it sold off and then come back up and would form a very hammerish looking scenario. Uh, and people were looking at that as okay, it's a great buying opportunity. You have to understand when you're in an uptrend, that's when you use that. When you're in a downtrend, meaning prices are making lower lows and lower highs, uh, you, you don't do that. And let me show you. In this case here, you've got this move here, pulls back down, hammer candlestick formation, hammer candlestick formation. This is a clearly defined buy signal. This is something you would look for as a buy signal. Uh, this one over here, we talked about when it happened. You had this pull back here, you had a nice cam hammer, yeah, hammer candlestick formation. And that made sense. You were still at that point in an uptrend. Now, I didn't take this one, and I didn't take this one, and I wouldn't have taken today's uh, for multiple reasons. But the, the reason why I missed these two right here, this one here, and this one here it has to do with another chart I'm about to show you. And that it was what told me that these are going to be weak, not to be uh, sustainable. And, and the actual trim was pre uh, preparing to shift to the downside and very strong. And so, again, now that I'm in a clearly defined downtrend where you can see that price activity in an uptrend does this. Higher highs, higher lows, not the high point, not the higher high, not the low point, not the higher low. Now you can clearly see we have this high point, low point, lower high, lower low. The trend has changed. So stop thinking like a buyer and start thinking like a seller. The very next bounce you get will be an opportunity to sell. That's the only thing you should be looking for in this overall trend. Okay, this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart. This is going back like, I think, 20 years. It's, it's um, one of the more charts that I showed you uh, several weeks ago where we saw that you had had three massive rallies in the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, from over the past 20 years. You had this massive one here that had made a substantial move and then came back and retraced 50% of that. that that's like an absolutely normal situation. Uh, this one was 7,700 points. Then you had this one here where we rally up here, 6,500 points, and then we pull back. Now, again, in this particular scenario, we were uh, not doing a normal pullback. It wasn't just a 50%. It was a more actually erase the entire thing but uh, that has to do with the situation that we had going on there but again a normal condition would be a 50% retracement okay then we have this move up here that at the time that I, I talked to you guys about it we had seen a rally of 8,400 points uh, and, and we actually pressed a little bit higher coming close to uh, 9,000 points actually in this rally before we rolled over uh, but again this is the peak you're, you're seeing that develop right here why would you be a buyer looking at your short-term charts you may think oh I got a bounce coming why would you buy that that makes no sense whatsoever. You'd be this guy over here trying to buy this move before this move right here happened. I would be betting in favor of the bigger move to the downside rather than a little tiny couple points to the upside. That doesn't make any sense. And again, this chart indicates that you have a massive move still coming here. If we were to actually pull out the Fibonacci retracement numbers and actually use the low point to the high point, you would see that 50% is the normal retracement point. So this is thousands of points to the downside versus I might get a couple hundred points to the upside. I wouldn't make that trade. Okay, here we are looking at the NASDAQ. This is something else that a lot of people might be looking to go buy or uh, different scenarios. Again, I want to point out you've closed below the 50 period moving average indicating a sign of uh, substantial weakness here. And then you have this hammer candlestick formation, which a lot of people would have seen that as, oh, I'm going to use this as a buy opportunity. Again, you're not in an uptrend anymore. You're now in a downtrend. You stop doing that. The only time that I will look at a scenario where you have a hammer candlestick formation in a downtrend as a potential buy is if I have strong above average, meaning the red line right here, uh, volume. And the red line indicates the, the average volume there. So when I have really strong uh, or above average uh, buy pressure and a hammer camera formation after a massive sell-off, then you might consider it. Otherwise, I would completely ignore it. It's of no value to me. Another thing people are looking at here, they're going to say uh, this is something not 
that they're going to go by will be the fact that you have this gap above you. I talked about that last Friday, I believe it was. I told you that this is not something I'd be betting on. You have gaps below you as well, and these gaps down here could just easily be filled long before this one is. You'll notice that we had one happen again here today, and we saw some interdict activity start to pull up and couldn't even fill it and started selling off again. So again, don't be trading based solely on gaps and things like that or, or hammer candlestick formations. Start with the trend. That's the most important. And this trend is clearly down. You can see the high points, low points, lower high, lower low, again and again and again. There's nothing here to do but sell. Any bounce you get, taken as an opportunity to sell. Okay, just to drive my point home, this is a chart of the NASDAQ going back to the 2007 time period just before the, the 08 uh, crash and the 09 bottoms and so on. I want to point out a few things. You had a massive rally that was going on with lots of gaps in it. I warned you guys when that was happening currently that we have seen this before. Lots of gaps to the upside is not a sustainable scenario. And then you come back and you just erase all of it. Everything that you've done before. Even though you had the same conditions. You had pulled back. You closed below the 50 period moving average. Everything that I'm showing you here we've already seen on the other charts. And you can see that we came down here, found resistance at the 50 period moving, indicating that it was a change in, in uh, sentiment, change in momentum, change in direction of the chart. And then we come down here and then we get this bounce, take out the previous high. On, and then all the bulls back there in this time period said, oh, we're, here we go. This is a return of the bull market that will never fail and blah, blah, blah. We have seen the exact same scenario this time around. Now notice this. You get this gap here and a gap here. You sell off. People looking for an opportunity to go long. I'm sure you get a move here and then down we go lower again. People again start looking for an opportunity to go long and again talking about these gaps up here and how they're going to come up here and fill. They do fill four years later in 2011 after the crash and then again gap here and we started to sell off and you know what happened. We went into the 2008 crash and so forth and so on. So don't be looking at a chart solely on gaps. When you have a condition it's already indicated a breakdown of the uptrend which we've talked about repeatedly as well as the multiple gaps to the upside in the current rally we've just uh, been erasing. Uh, the, the, those are indications of a massive top forming, like I showed you on the Dow Jones chart. Uh, you have a massive rally that's happened. Now you got the Fed that's that's been stimulating that. He's stepping out a bit. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to fill a lot of that, at, at least 50% in a normal scenario. So uh, there's a massive move still coming. Okay, I update my personal charts, the charts I've shown you, as well as um, the long-term charts on here on the website under the market charts section. I update them nightly. You can check them out whenever you like. I've actually advanced uh, or uh, advanced some of the stops and backed some of the other stops off. So check that out for, for yourself on the website. Also, we've got some uh, more signals on buys and so forth. I mean, not buys, uh, sells and things like that. So uh, check them out. Again, the web website is free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless. Take care, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.